Well, I hope that you watched the previous video uh, called the uh, How to Catch Fish, The Simple Truth. That, was, that video was a little bit lengthy, and but I couldn't get it any shorter and still get across to you what I, what I wanted to get across. But anyway, I hope you watched it. If you didn't, you might already go back and look at it. But anyway, uh, it, it, whatever I explained in it, I, I don't have time to go over again now. So, But today, in this video, I want to do a little demonstration of some of the things that I was talking about in, in the previous video. If you will do what I suggest you do in that first video, which is, Realize that what catches fish is knowledge. That's it. It's not gimmicks. You can't go down Bass Pro and buy it in a, in a package, a fancy package. It's knowledge. You got to know what makes a fish tick. You got to know how to find him. Where in the water is he at any time of the year? All that's that's knowledge. That knowledge is available. It's free of charge. It was developed many years ago by a man named Buck Perry and he wrote all that down he put on uh, schools for many years he's the father of all modern fishing all structure fishing and everything else he is the daddy of modern fishing period his knowledge was unsurpassed period but Buck's dead he's gone now but his number one Disciple. I'm a, been a disciple for Buck Perry for 50 years. I've followed his teachings for 50 years. I have caught more fish than you can shake a stick at. Buck, uh, <laughs> in the other previous video, I mentioned that Buck often said, <laughs> made some uh, statements that, that kind of caused people to raise their eyebrows a little bit. But several of them, but they were all, all true. But one thing he said, he said, and he was talking about the knowledge that he had that, that he put down, you know, in print and in schools. He said, if you gain this knowledge, if you study this stuff and you learn it and you apply it, which is what I'm trying to get you to do, he said that you will catch more fish than you thought was in the water in that lake. My gosh, it's right. He's right. You'll make catches beyond your wildest imagination. He also said, if you learn this stuff, you better be buying yourself a big net because you're going to need it. <laughs> That's true, too. Then the third thing he said, pertaining to that, said you better develop a thick skin. Because when you start talking about your fishing success or people start asking you to catch anything or whatever, and when you tell them the the basic, just simple truth, they're going to think you're the biggest liar there ever was. <laughs> oh, and he was right about that, too. And the fact that uh, you uh, get thick skinned in, in the thick, in, in the respect that if you're going to try to teach somebody, and he said this, too, that once you try to teach people the absolute truth about what it really takes to catch fish, most of them are going to ignore you and just go about their way and think, well, you, you know, you're just full of baloney or something. But, you know, so develop the thick skin because if you do what he said, you will be, be more successful than you've ever been in your life. And then all you got to do is tell the simple truth <laughs> to develop the reputation of being the biggest liar in the country. <laughs> it's amazing. But anyway, you will learn if you if you do what I told you, and, and basically, you, you, the knowledge that you need, you'll find in, you can go to YouTube and look up a, a YouTube channel called Don Dixon Fishing. Right up here, Don Dixon Fishing. And then you can go on, online and look up this place, Buck's Spoon Plugging. Right here, look these places up, and you will be able to obtain all the knowledge you'll ever need to catch every fish you ever thought about wanting to catch. But anyway, uh, you will learn if you gain that knowledge. You, you'll, you'll learn what makes a fish tick and how he reacts to 
different conditions, you know, weather and water conditions. And you will learn that you will learn that what type of water to, get, to look at. You, when you go to a lake, you'll learn how to eliminate 99% of that water and where you can go straight to that very small, that 2% or so of water that contains 95% of the fish. You'll learn where those places are, how to locate them, and you can go to fair and you'll fish. Spend your time. The object is spend 100% of your time in that very small percentage of water that contains most of the fish. And you'll learn how to, how to do all that. It's real simple. I mean, you'll learn how to do it. And it's free. Don't, it's not going to cost anything. Uh, success won't cost you anything. Uh, <laughs> failure can be quite expensive, but success is going it's not going to cost anything. Uh, but anyway, in this particular video that's coming up, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to show on the water some of the things that we talked about in the previous video. Uh, that when I when I get down there and, and and I look at the lake and I look at the situation, I look at the weather, I look at the water, I look at the situation, I know that I'm going to be faced with some of the toughest fishing conditions you'll ever find. I know how most of the fish on that lake, what they've already done, how they've reacted to it, where they've gone, what they've done, and I know they're going to be very very hard to locate. They're going to be deep, closed mouthed. They're going to be very deep and very dormant. They're going to be hard to catch. Impossible? No. If you're willing to put out that effort that it's going to take to get down there and plot along till you finally find them, that's fine, which I've done a gazillion times. But I've learned you know, that, that what I really like to do, I like to catch fish. I enjoy trying to find them and all that stuff, but I like to catch fish. And when I'm looking at a situation like was on, on, on this particular day, uh, catching my target fish, which on that particular day happened to be big stripers and big hybrids, I know that's just almost, uh, that's going to be very hard to do. And I spent a few hours fishing just to try to prove that, yeah, what I thought the situation was going to be, that's exactly what it is. And so I thought, well, I want to catch some fish. Well, I knew from what I learned from Buck Perry from, from these teachings and what you can learn from Don Dixon or th uh, fr from uh, the, the printing material, which you can get. And I, the, the one, that, that Buck Spoon plug, and you, you can get all this stuff. I knew that, I had a, that, that there was a way that I could catch fish. And the way that I can catch fish is I won't have to forget about my real target, which is the mature, deep, mature fish, big fish. What I'm going to base uh, my success today on, look for, is I'm going to have to look for young fish, juvenile fish. I'm going to be the equivalent of our equivalent to a bunch of teenagers. You know, these young juvenile fin uh, fish are liable to be scattered anywhere and up and active. Just like a bunch of teenagers that probably ought to be at home in bed, sleep. They're probably not. They're out cruising around, cruising the drive-ins, looking for girls and stuff like that, you know. The teenagers will be anywhere doing anything. That's what these juvenile fish are. So I'm going to take advantage of that. But through the knowledge that I had gained from my studies under Buck Perry, in which you can gain yourself, I've pointing you the way to it. In the previous video, I really pointed you the way to it, and I am again now. Go to Don Dixon Fishing on YouTube. You can sit there on your couch drinking a beer and learn how to catch fish. Okay? Now, but I'm going to demonstrate something. That, that there's probably young fish scattered through the shallows. I also know from studies that you too can learn what part of those lakes, what sections of the lake, what sections of shoreline are likely to hold those juvenile fish at this time of the year. Right now, I know what those are going to be. So I'm going to go around the lake. Matter of fact, that day I went to four different ones, four different places. I located juvenile fish, schools of juvenile fish, on all four places. And I went, I located them, and I caught them. Okay, but in this video, I'm going to de I'm demonstrating that, that yeah, I found them where I thought they were supposed to be, but that the conditions were so 
it's one of those times that usually you can go and locate the fish and you can just catch them. You know, you can cast them. My typical way of doing it is I'm trolling. So I'm trolling this way and I catch fish and I throw out a marker buoy. So I turn around and go back that way, catch another, throw out a marker buoy. Now I've got two marker buoys sitting out here, okay, a known distance behind the boat. So the school is halfway between them. So I can go over there and I can cast to them and I can wear them out. That happens the vast majority of the time. But sometimes it just don't work. The, the controls, in other words, you've got to know how to locate where the fish are. And then once you find the places that you should be fishing, there is a routine that you go through to find the fish on those, on those areas and how to make him strike, how to, how to force a strike out of it. And that basically boils down to you, you put your lure at the same depth the fish is and move it by his nose at a speed that it, it, it elicits a strike out of it. And then once you've located what depth it is and you found out exactly what speed it takes to uh, get a strike out of it, then if you want to, you can start experimenting with the other things such as size, color, and action. The only five things you can control is size, color, action, depth, and speed. But... <laughs> If you concentrate on size, color, and action, it's going to take you forever to locate fish. If you just concentrate on the two most important things, find out exactly what depth those fish are located at, and then move your lure by at, a, at the right speed, you will get a, a hit. And that, that's what you'll find on this and what I found out today, that that depth and that speed was highly critical today. I had to be have my depth exact and I had to have my speed exact. And that speed varied throughout the evening. As, as the water warmed, the fish became more active, it took a faster speed. And one thing you're gonna see in here is I'm trolling, I'm moving faster than most people ever thought about fishing. Most people fish entirely too slow. Buck, Buck Perry also is one of the other things he said, when it comes to speed control, speed control being the second most important thing in fishing. Depth control being number one, speed control number two. And his guide to, to uh, uh, speed control was always start at a, at a speed that you think is entirely too fast for the fish to catch. Then increase at regular intervals until you find the speed it takes to, it, to, to get a strike out of the fish. Most of the time, that is so incredibly much faster than most fishermen ever realize. You'll see that in the video, too. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Sit back and look at it. I hope you learned something. I tried to put little notes on the screen as we're going along to sort of explain what's happening. But on this particular day, what you'll find is I had to have exact, precise depth and speed control. And when I hit the exact depth and I hit the exact speed that it took, I caught the daylights out of them. Yeah, they were, like I said, they were small, young, juvenile fish. They were not the big fish that I was after uh, because I knew why I wasn't going to catch the big fish and, and I made the decision to catch fish and so I'm going after the, I'm going after the active fish. But if conditions had been good, if I'd had good conditions and a good movement of fish and the, and the big fish had moved up into the shallows and as everybody said, they're, they're, they're biting today. <laughs> so if the fish had been biting, I'd have caught big fish just exactly like I caught these small fish. But no difference whatsoever. The only difference would have been the size of the fish, okay? And if the big fish had been up, I'd have caught all sizes. Little, small, medium, and large, okay? I'd have caught them all. But on this day, this particular time, it was just the little guys. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you on the water. And in the next video, I'm going to do a couple of, a couple of three uh, videos explaining some of this stuff. And the main purpose of this is to try to get you to go to these two sources, bucksboomplug.com and Don Dixon Fishing on YouTube and learn how to catch any kind of fish anywhere in the world at any time of the year. I did it. You can do it. Anybody can do it. See you on the water. Okay, I've just launched. 
here at DeVault Bridge and it's just now sunrise. Sun's just tipping some of the first places and I'm telling you the lake is dead. See much activity at all. No shed flipping. No fish are breaking. Except for a carp flopping here and there. Anyway, I'm going to ride on up the lake, see what all I can see. I came up, I've been all the way up into Bluff City, I was trying to locate some shad or some active stripers or anything. Seen very, very few shad, made a few casts to no avail, caught absolutely nothing. The water's pretty much, the lake looks dead. Just now, passing over some brush that's down about 20 feet, and I've got a lure that's running almost that deep, just above it, and it looks like a fish hanging in that tree. Anyway, I'm I'm trolling 15 and 20 foot deep, pretty much following the river channel or the edge of the original river channel. Trying to see if maybe you can stumble across a big hybrid or a striper or something. I'm on the inside bend of the original river channel. up the other way. Caught one coming down. Oh, <laughs> I'm reeling it in. I'm gonna turn around and go back the other way. One hit. <laughs> I just turned the camera off. Fights like another little small stripe. Well, they fight like crazy. Not any size to them, but my God, they fight. <laughs> this one's foul hooked. But he really, thank goodness he got off. <laughs> I didn't want to hit the handling. He was mean. He was mad. I didn't want to have to fool with him. Trash off here. 
controlling us. Ouch. 500. A little 500 series spoon plug. That's a deadly little rascal. Let's get turned around. Speed trolling spoon plugs. Half pound. <laughs> Two small ones up here. I wanted to catch some uh, shad. Control planer boards for the, uh, for the big ones. But <laughs> Gosh, am I? <laughs> I can hold a little fish. Bites of cut and picking hard, but they do. We are some tough little boys. Alright, here we go. Hey, them little devils fight. <laughs> they got some fight to them. Unbelievable. <laughs> it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Missed one of the immediately. Come back and hit it again, or another one did one. These really small, but <laughs> they are fun. Easy. There you go. There he is. He realized something's not right. So. <laughs>
I'm going to start. Like it's another one of them times where you can catch them, throw them, come back try to cast. Don't work.
good start. There he is. Got a, a ton of these little stripers on. Another little striper. I hope you got something out of this video and if you did look at the next one I got another one coming up that's going to try to explain some more of this in a little bit more in detail and to show you that this stuff that I'm trying to point you to I get nothing out of it I'm not affiliated with it anyway but if you'll go to Don Dixon fishing on YouTube you can learn how to catch any kind of fish anywhere in the world at any time of the year and it's free again see you on the water